Morning guys, Monday morning, 11 o'clock. It's a very hot day, but we've got a breeze down here. We really have got a nice breeze. I can't speak too loud because we've got a lot of people up here today. That's uh, my old mate Tony's birthday. Happy birthday, Tony. And we'll see what we're going to do. That's earlier. I've got to have this raised bread. Yeah, let's just collect it. And I've, oh, I've got to put a piece of mesh over this. If you can. Because. I've mean, got something in there, so I'm now going to have to go through that lot. Yeah, something's in it. Alright guys, yeah, as you can see, then when I built this, I put cardboard liner underneath it to stop the weeds. Ow! Ooh, blinking it, that's cold tank. Uh, yeah, didn't do it though, did it? Not these ones, anyhow. Got me his tail. Look at it. So I'm going to try and get myself through this lot. Oh, watch out there, I've got a problem there. I'll leave you there. I don't know why I wear gloves. I get just as dirty. These pull out lovely, nice and easy pull out, but that's the mare's tail. I wouldn't expect the dirt to come through. And what we've got in here is these are pickling on onions. This is another thing. If you don't get that bit out of the bottom, I'll just keep coming back and coming back. And they're fairly deep down. I probably should have had a little trowel. I'll get a little trowel. I'll leave you to the sound of chickens. Right, here we are, we're back. That, that's a lovely little tool, this is. Really is. I just. Man, I've got my mare's tail. Oh, it's a nightmare. I was on top of it one time, didn't have enough, none. And this year, we're all knowing that we've got more, an abundance of more weeds. The next time I go out in the field, I'm going to take a picture, or, yeah, take a picture of. A conquer tree out, and it's uh, diseased us. But the funny thing is, there's two conquer trees. They're in a in a, a wood wooded bit, wooded area, and it's only the conquer trees that have got it, which is strange in my eyes. But there must be just a disease for them, and then the leaves have got well, it looks sort of like a burn on them. Very very spotty they are. So that if you don't get these. Early enough. There we are. Look at that. See what I mean, guys? I know you don't really want to see me blooming weeding, but I'm going to put you through it today. I feel like it. The old girl's got to stay in all afternoon waiting for a telephone call from the NHS physio, and then they'll send her a sheet. She's been, uh, well, I have to try and encourage her that she's getting on, but she doesn't believe it. She's, well, I suppose like a woman, and they would just want to be up and at them. Get everything sorted. Don't want to be, uh, cause she get a bit depressed and I've got to watch her at the moment. I try and explain to people that it's a waste of time being depressed about anything in health wise. If you're here to be depressed, you're okay. You have to get through it. My wife, she don't like being ill unless she's blooming ill. And that, and that, I think nobody do anyhow, but that peel off. Oh, I think you've blooming I've got posts and rubbish everywhere, I tell you. I'll change your position. Give you a different angle. <laughs> Alright, you're going down here, that's it. As you can see, the tra snail trails and slugs. I don't put slug pellets on this plot because my neighbours would not be talking to me. And it's there all right, I don't want to upset um, But I go out to feed my family. My wife harvested my cherries yesterday and I tell you what, I didn't realise which she put them out on the table in my back garden in the sun and that was like, give them three or four hours, they were red. 
Oh, they taste. I'm a, I'm a cherry addict, I'm afraid. And uh, I just can't. I have a pun at a day if I can get hold of them. But I've got some loads indoors at the moment, so I'm in a happy chabby. I think, and also, when you get older, I'm waffling here, so don't worry, I'm waffling. When you get older, you seem to don't want to eat so much. I don't, I don't have an appetite sometimes. Then when I can sit in front of me, I can't really stop. She so keep moaning at me, because my shorts have fallen off me. But I haven't lost no weight, though. And I said to her, I said, it's, it's all turned to muscle now. I'm a lean, mean, little old man. <laughs> Right guys, as you can see, that's what I'm going to do. I've got to get this side done, then that side. I'll stop you now. That tomato plant has a bush for it. That's why it's there. But I, I, I can't find the name. Right, we'll crack on it. Right guys. There we go. I've separated that clump and put them in there. Now I'm going to have to give it a good weed. I'll probably put some tomato in it to give it a feed and all. Right, that's that job done. Don't forget Harley D. Right guys, so I'll put the chickens out here in this little bit of an enclosure just to get them to pack some of this greenery. Got a lovely breeze up here now, really is nice. Uh, I'm now going to put some lettuces in there. I've got to top up with some compost though. Hopefully they won't get across. As you can see I've netted my green, green's in there. Yeah, I don't know how to get in there, but there were some snails in there. Yeah, snails were in there, so that's been sorted. Uh, I've got to put some water in them before I go. They've got to go in the garden, but it's just too warm. It's going to be 27 to, onwards tomorrow. So they won't be going in tomorrow, I don't think. Uh, so we'll crack on. I've got a sunflower pop to set out. We're going over there to top that up and put some lamb lola wasser in there and I can water them in easy enough. Right, I'm top up with this. Quite moist at the bottom. It really is quite moist, I've got to watch it. It would work. So, so come on over you go. Last year I stacked all my barrels, all my tubs here, my, uh, 30 litre, 30 litre tubs, I'll stick them, stack them here again. Right, it's nice and clean underneath. I don't know why I'm going on that, that's a, I think it's a garlic chive, something like that. But I've topped up all my blueberries, even with my pink, pink ones, I think LED's got pink ones and all. Uh, I've got some lovely blueberries, but they're neat. Oh, look at them. I'll have to eat them in a minute because they're breaking the barter. So, well, yeah, these are my cobras. Sorry about the speed, they're going right down the bottom where them sticks are sticking up. I'm um, whether to make an A frame or just do two uprights. Right, I'll be quick. You'll probably be picking some wind up. I'm sorry about that. We all pick the bloody wind up up here. We're so open. It's a lot of winding up. Right. This will probably be the last year for this bed because the sides are rotten big time. And we've got. Uh, I don't know, I'm not going to boil that. That's a waste of time. We don't use it. My pl plan was to use it. Use only grow only what we use. Plenty of planes back today, considering there's a lot of problem with the airline. Lines in it. Yeah, loads. Another one. I don't know. Got a root ball on that. Oh, 
before you can smell that, I might put it in a tub actually. Small tub, I got one somewhere. Let's see if I'll take it out. I don't know why, because as I say, we don't use it. I think this would probably be more to put into something to disguise the smell of carrots. That would be, I think. Right. I'm gonna have to put another tub in it. Ah. Yeah, that would be ideal into a small 15 litre tub with to put it down near carrots so the garlic actually, yeah, very good idea, Michael. Right, here we go, guys. It's fairly busy down here when I got down, but I don't know. It's gone quiet, which is good for me because I managed to actually get a lot of things in. See, Lollaboss, so look at these. They should have gone in a long while ago, but they will still come along. If you leave them like that, they actually make, make it easier to get them in. I'm going to harvest these possibly a bit earlier. You know, look. that's easy enough. In you go. As you know, what I don't use, and what me and the wife don't use, our chickens love lettuce. They're all moaning about the TV. <laughs> the TV's rubbish, they go. Oh, well, I, I quite agree. I tell them to watch YouTube. I say, go on to YouTube. See some of the guys up there, what are they doing? How, how they're doing things. Some of the, see, the older people, I don't know how the government and these companies expect them to, to do things on computers. John up here, I said to him, I said, I've just had my 150 pound from the government for, towards my council tax. He said, how'd you do that? I said, I had to go on the internet and fill it in and that fresh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Fresh bank details. I said, I put my bank details in and uh, off you go. He said, well, I don't do internet. You know, there's a lot of people, old people, they just don't do internet. Of course, they can't. God, that garlic, I should really give that to my son. He, he made me laugh. I give him some elephant garlic to take him. And when he rung me up yesterday, he said, yeah, uh, that garlic wasn't very strong. I said, what did you have, the big stuff? He said, yeah. I said, well, what you're supposed to do with that, you twit, is uh, you're supposed to roast it in the oven because it comes out lovely and sweet. Oh, he said, I'll keep, I'll keep that for when I do my peppers and that. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't imagine him doing cooking and all this lot, but he's got into it big time. He really has. I mean, he'd come round and have a meal with us once or twice a week. We could make sure he oh, use that. Make sure he has a bit of a meal. Which is good. Because he do like home cooked. And the, but him being a gas engineer, he sometimes don't have the time to do anything. Right, they're in. They're a little bit close, but I'm going to possibly, if they kick on and they do work, I'm going to do them, harvest them earlier. So they are, excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to harvest them earlier. So they're a little bit smaller. That way, uh, I'm not going to get so many bugs in them. Right, now for watering. I need to find somewhere to put that.
their ward in. Just got to have to keep warming them. I've had just about enough of this. Now, is this a sign of a real good harvest? <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. There's another one over there. It's going to be a bit, look at them. Very interesting. See, they go green because they get a lot of light and the sunshine on them. Really is. Winston sees her. The first earlies. See, I don't harvest them like normal people. I harvest them as we use them at the moment, but uh, when it's time to. They're nearly dead now. What I'll do is I'll harvest a whole lot. I'll sort them out, I'll dry them off, and I'll sack them up. But they are beautiful. My son has never tasted. Oh, I'll bet do them, but got a bit of a wilt on here. Uh, my son's never tasted nothing uh, so good, he reckon, the potatoes. All right. Normally, I don't like to water up, especially this time of day, but because I'm not. Don't come down here late or early. I have to. I've got to probably have to put two lots on here. I'll be going home today and not being able to walk. Hello girl. Let cool you off girl. It takes quite a bit to get it soaked through. I lost one here. Right guys, that's that one now. I'm taking them down here. Let's go and have a look at the cherries. My beetroot, if you look at them, they've uh, kicked along. I didn't I didn't think they would, but these are, I think it's uh, bot hardy there. Cylinder here. Parsnips, well, more of this end than that end. I have noticed, and I've been keeping a check, that I've got had no cabbage whites in here. So as, as hopefully, now I've got to watch out, just in case there's a cab, a caterpillar in there. I've got a collie there, how do you get a collie there? Oh, I don't know, oh dear, oh dear, I tell you. When you get old and your mind starts to go, that's it, you're in trouble. Now what I'm allowing happen here is that cause yet I'm allowing to go to a, a fairly big state. I'm going to allow a couple of them to go really big, because the chickens, oh look at the plums. The chickens have uh, really hit on to courgette, so I put a couple in there yesterday and they loved it. Look at this lot, I'm going to have to watch these. Seems to be a good harvest of everything fruit wise. The apples have got to have dropped on these ones are because they're so heavy. That's a nice apple tree, I just do not know the names. I had them names all, named all up. And that one there, if you look, I don't really see the yellow tarp, that was right at the top. So that's actually dropped, I can probably pull the tarp off that and start to top that up. My cherries, well I'd like to have picked them all. We are decided what we're going to do is de-seed them and uh, freeze a lot of them for smoothies and she's going to make a cherry something, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know really much. If you tell if you tell the truth, I don't know, know much. That's what I say. Ah. Yeah, there's a few on the inside. See, they probably have. It's not just the birds, that's the human wildlife up here. Mmm, mmm. Cool, right, beautiful. Mmm. Yeah, the human wildlife tend to come around and uh, decide to help themselves one night. I'm hoping the secretary is going to push to have a new key and the new locks on this, this site so all the old keys and that no longer work. Because we need a bit more security up here now. I don't think they're going to come back, but we'll see. If you look at this lot, that's dry enough really to nearly to burn. So what I'll need, I'll need a, a dullish day. This is my main crop and they're flopping and they shouldn't be. They should be going until September, October, so these will be left in the ground until the end of September, possibly. No matter what, see they're, they're on the top there. It could be a very good harvest. There's a double row here somewhere. Jack's now, uh, he's been trying to cut the grass, but it's been too hot. My radishes look like they're kicked on. 
Well, I know what I've got to do, which I will get told off then. But I have to do it. I'll take you over the other side in a minute and just show you through there. Yes, it's an ant's nest. That's what my trouble's been. I think there must have been. There's one down there, ant's nest, and that was a pepper plant. It's obviously underneath somewhere there. I watered up yesterday. I'm trying not to water too much. And you've got two at the back there. Look at them, they're wilting like heck. They really are. Guys, that's me done for today. I'll probably put this up tonight. I've got a clip from uh, yesterday and all. Uh, I'm trying to uh, make sure that stays there. Oh, sorry. To just see. Like, the brick. The brick is in the way. Oh my god, get rid of the brick. Alright, put that up there. Ah, oh, sorry. Thinking, like, and push that over the back. That's what we were trying to do, guys. Net it. Done. So I had to do a bit of water when I've done that there. So guys, this will go up tonight. Uh, stay safe you all. Don't forget, Ali D. Brilliant, brilliant lady. Very busy. I don't know how she manages it all. And uh, stay safe. Bye for now.